Hey guys, good to see y'all again. I ain't had much time to look for snakes here lately, but it's a good temperature for them right now, about 75 degrees outside. That's their, I think that's their most comfortable uh, temperature to, to ramble in, to move around and hunt around in. So they just they just feel good. I mean, I guess it's kind of like us, you know, we got a certain temperature we like and I think about 75 degrees. It's, it's around the temperature that the snakes like to move around in. But if we find one, I'm hoping we can do a catch, clean, and cook video for y'all and uh, find out how it, how it tastes on the smoker. I've fried one before, but I ain't never smoked one. So we'll, uh, we'll see if we can get one here in just a minute. All right, guys, we did come across one. He, uh, he was crossing the road while I go, but I couldn't get really get my camera out in time. He's about a, I don't know, I'd say a three and a half foot timber rattler here in Alabama. Woo. You know, that's what I like about the rattlesnakes. At least they give you a warning before they bite you. I mean, if you can't hear that, you're deaf. <laughs> He's just slow rolling down through here. And I ain't like some of y'all crazy folks on YouTube. I just ain't gonna... I'm not gonna get too close to a rattlesnake, any venomous snake. That's just not me. <laughs> just not gonna do it. Uh, uh, he's, he's done figured out I'm following him now. He don't... He's tired of getting away from me. Look at this guy right here. He just took a uh, a deep breath in trying to look bigger. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boy, the things look mean. He ain't liking me right now. Not one bit. But yeah, these rattlesnakes, they'll cause damage to your to your tissue, your skin tissue where you're bit. And uh, they'll cause, cause you to not be able to clot up, your blood to clot up and trouble breathing and excessive awful pain at the site where you bitch you at but they say it's only really only one out of 600 people that die from rattlesnake bites but <laughs> i'm not really willing to take my chance on that and i'll see if i can get some gopro footage for y'all right here in just a second i can get closer up get a maybe a closer better look at them for you let's see Look at those. Look at his eyes. He just looks evil. <laughs> he just looks mean. But you see, he's not coming after me, so I mean, he's not. Rattlesnakes ain't really aggressive. I mean, look at look at the warning that he gives you to keep you from stepping on him. I wouldn't call this the most aggressive snake at all. He's. I mean, he, I'm. I'm six foot from him right now and just zoomed in on my phone, but he's uh he's staying calm, staying still, but he's he's letting me know he's there. Alright guys, I told you I'd get some close up footage. I've got a uh snake grabber with my GoPro 8 Hero on it. I'm gonna see if I can hold this thing without shaking too much get kind of close and see see how close you got to get for him to strike I'm about a foot away with my gopro well the end of the snake grabber i'm about a six inches away and i'm touching them moving them this 
this might be one of the most low tempered snakes that I've seen before. But they do, I mean, they, they try to give you a warning though to, to not mess with them. Stretch them back out. So I'm not grabbing them right behind the neck, because if you grab them right behind the neck, they get real angry. I mean, he, he ain't liking this right now, but I want them to stretch out of here. move them where you kind of want to move them you don't get too mad if you were to grab him right there behind the neck which I'm not going to do because I don't want him getting more mad than he is he'll think he's being attacked by something else and he's uh he'll go into striking mode then but out with the GoPro is. I just can't believe how calm he is. Yeah, these rattlesnakes uh, ain't rattle the rattler 90 times a second.
I just, that's unbelievable. But anyway, Thomas John, we would do a catch, clean, and cook. So that's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll get him and cut his head off here in just a second. Of course, I won't show you that on YouTube, but they frown upon that. But uh, we'll skin him out and we'll see how he tastes smoke on the on the grill. Alright guys, of course I've got him his head cut off. And uh I've always heard people say they smell like a billy goat. They put off a scent smell like a billy goat and uh whenever I did take his head off, he he released it. His that smell. Other snakes just smell bitter really, but uh Yeah, these rattlesnakes they smell they do smell like a billy goat. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to show y'all these fangs. And keep in mind, they can still bite. Their head cut off. That's why they got clamped in this clamp right here. But you see them? Woo! Look at that. That is what you do not want going in you. Let's see if he's just got one. Some of them have got double fangs. We'll find out. see yep that's what you do not do not want going in you look at him he's still trying to bite Still deadly after the head's cut off. Mm -hmm. Shit, that's him. This is the only way y'all gonna get a close up of the head with me, cause I y'all may make fun of me, but I ain't uh I ain't holding these these snakes. All right, y'all. We got him to the sink. Got his head chopped off and buried out there in the woods. You don't ever want to leave the head uh, just laying around because you got a dog around or a, anything. Go out there and grab it. It'll get bit and just like it was. The head was still attached. And I forgot to mention one thing where I couldn't want to go, but after I done sprayed water on it, but once the rattler gets wet, it's, it's made out of kind of the same stuff as your fingernails. And once it gets wet, it really don't make any noise. So if it's raining, you ain't gonna get a, a no good warning from a rattlesnake if he's out in the rain and you are too. So, but anyhow, we uh, wanna rinse. Rinse them off a little bit where we cut them. And uh, I may try to. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he almost scared me. <laughs> I may try to keep his skin. Let's see, let's set my knife over there. If I can flip him over, if he'll be still. I may not be able to cut him straight down through there. <laughs> Look at that. Like a darn catfish. What I'm wanting to do, I really don't want them to make make me cut myself when I'm worried about now. I'm wanting to cut them straight down the belly because I may try to. I may. Son of a gun. I may try to. Let me put this knife down do something with its skin i ain't never fooled with a snake skin before so it'll be a first for me too but uh let's see if i can cut away from myself get it started 
the first thing you want to do is, is skin them. Get it started right there. I may have to use scissors. This rip, his skin rips open a little bit more than I thought it would. I'll be back with you on just a second. All right, I'm back with the scissors. Let's see how this works. Wife well, just have to get over it. I'll buy her some more. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that works a lot better. I lost my cell phone stand I usually record with, so I've got the GoPro on this uh, chest harness. So yeah, the scissors, the scissors are the way to go. And like I said, I ain't, I ain't spinning. <laughs> it scared the crap out of me. The little darn nub touched me. I got his head cut off on the why I'm jumping. I'm not a big fan of venomous snakes. I'm not, I don't like fooling with them. Look at y'all see that how it's trying to strike me. I'm glad I ain't got no head left on him. Yeah, scissors is oh, he gonna get me bloody as crap. Go. I couldn't watch what I was doing in the GoPro a while ago. Sorry about that, but let's see his guts. They come out easy. They're all attached to each other, so you just grab them. Get all the way up there, pull out. Pull out like that, just keep on pulling. They all attach, they all come out. Look at that. Set these to the side. Turn your water on. Pull that out of there. Oh yeah, looking good. Snatch that on out. All right, now you take your skin. You can get a hold of it. Turn this water off, it makes it loud. Get your thumb down in there. She just peels right off, fellas. Boom. There we go. We'll cut that piece off, save the rattler. All right. We'll season her up in just a second. Be back with you. All right, we got her skinned out. I love to put this Cajun two-step on anything I, I eat. A uh, stale cracker out of Louisiana. This is his seasoning, and uh, I put it on everything. Everything I eat, french fries, potatoes. I put it on hamburger, fish, whatever. We'll try to rub it in there some. A little on the inside. Oh yeah. Get that rubbed in. I'll sprinkle a little bit more on the top. 
and look what it see it. Now we're going to put it on the smoker. I already had a Boston butt trying to cook. So I'm going to put it right here beside it. Leave it on there. I say about 20 minutes. I'll let you know for sure in a little bit, but we'll uh, we'll see what it turns out like. All right, guys. <clears throat> I've had the temperature on probably 225 because I've had my Boston butt on here too, and we got her up to 170. So I believe she's done. We're gonna get her off. Put her on the pan. Let her cool off for a second. We'll try her out. All right, guys. I'm kind of having to slouch over where I can you can see me on the camera because it's the second time in, in a month that I've lost my uh, my phone stand to record. But anyway. Here's the rattlesnake. I'm gonna kind of pull some of this back strap out of there. Look at that, comes right off. Dang. That's pretty good. I ain't gonna say it tastes like chicken because it don't taste like chicken. Let's see. It's a little chewy. Real chewy. The top of that skin tastes good though. That's pretty crispy. It don't taste like frog legs. It don't taste like alligator. And it don't taste like chicken. So this might be the first reptile that don't have a chicken taste. Or I guess you call it reptile. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> Whatever. But, uh, something that's cold-blooded anyhow. But, um, I don't know, man. It's, it's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie to you. And, uh, I'm trying to think of how to explain it, but I guess it just tastes like snake. Tastes like rattlesnake. But that done pretty good. I had, uh, had the smoke around... 225 because I you know I have my, my Boston butt smoking on there. But uh that's pretty much all you can get is this uh back strap right here. So it peels right off. Good white meat. It is chewy though. But rattlesnake's probably the only snake that's got enough meat on it to fool with. I ate a uh, water moccasin one time and Shoot, it didn't even, it was, it was mainly like pretty much just that's the first stuff I peeled off. And that's all it was. There wasn't no meat on the inside like that. But that's pretty good. I guess chewy is what some people say. Maybe they overcooked it. But uh, I got mine up to 170 because with uh, things like this, you know, it says 165. But I like to get up 170 but uh, to be sure all the, <clears throat> all the bad junk is salmonella and stuff is cooked out. But anyhow, well, that was a good rattlesnake. Uh, I'll probably finish the rest of it when I turn the camera off. I don't want to chew in y'all's ear all day, but if you like this video and uh, you, and you want more of these videos, just uh, hit the subscribe button, like button, share it for me. Uh, if you got a, a way that you like to cook rattlesnake, let me know. That's the first time I've ever uh, smoked one. I've fried one before, but I think I like it smoked better. Turned out pretty good. But let me know what kind of seasoning you put on there. And like I said, uh, share this video, like, subscribe. And and if you, if you like this video, we'll make some more. I'll make some more videos like this. And we may try it fried again or some other some other way one of y'all may, uh, may like to do it. So just comment, let me know, and I'll see y'all next time.